Okay, now finally, uh, Andrea Jenkins, I think I'm right in saying that you've just been named director of Net Zero Watch. Yeah. Um, what needs to be watched when it comes to Net Zero? Well, I mean, to me, I mean, as, as you can see, I'm an animal lover. You know, I do care about the environment and, you know, naturally I care about um, species going extinct. But to me, you know, when I see um, constituents really struggling and I, I really want to see that the policies um, and not just policies for um, you know, um, which benefit the middle and upper classes by it's it's a working class who's actually paying for the electric cars. What what those who earn a lot more money can afford. You mm. know, this this has got to be policies that um, um, affect everybody, and we need to actually be quite um, pragmatic and and also challenge the narrative because I, I think that um, it, it's important that we have a debate on this. Um. We were talking about this yesterday because the unions, uh, the GMB and Unite were criticising Labour's plans and saying that, you know, we don't want uh, workers in oil and gas to to basically pay the price for the move to renewables, which is kind of, I think, the, the, the same thing that, that you're saying. Um, implicit within a move, though, from, from fossil uh, to renewable, some people are going to have to perhaps change industry, change how they earn their money. I mean, we know that, but it's over a long period of time. Do we have to um, to accept that, do you think? Um, I, I don't think we do. I think we've got you know um, great resources under our feet. I mean, I am um, not against fracking. I think we need to um, examine that as well. So I I think we got to look for, you know, the cheapest energy resources, what's also got longevity, but but most importantly for, for the British taxpayer who who are struggling um, at times, that it's affordable for them as well. And the the net zero target the, the net zero target then, the twenty fifty target, do you support that? No, I don't. No. What would you would you extend it? Um n- I've, I've, I can understand it's it's a global movement um, to push towards this, um, but to me, um, I, I, it's it's also about the individual. You know, we've we've been telling people what to do during lockdown, um, you know, globally, and um, I I don't think we should be telling people how to heat their homes and what car to drive. That's a personal thing of myself. Okay, well, that's very interesting, Andrea Jenkins. Thank you very much. That's Andrea Jenkins, the Conservative MP.